One of our favorite experiences in Patagonia was riding the old Patagonian Express. This is one of the best known train journeys in the world, made even more famous by Paul Theroux's 1979 account where he sought to ride trains from his hometown in Massachusetts as far south as Argentina. Today, the old Patagonian Express may only be a fraction of what it once was, but it's an exciting journey nevertheless and we knew we had to ride it. This tourist themed train may cover only a short distance, but it's a fun way to experience the nostalgia of early 20th century train travel and it also allows you to soak in the magical landscapes of the Patagonian steppe. Now let's hop aboard and begin this journey. Well, good morning, good morning, Good morning, friend. guys. Today we ride the old Patagonian Express of yes. Paul through fame. How pumped are you? Super pumped. And before we even board the train, we've had a chance to kind of see how it's been getting prepared for today's journey. Can't wait to get on yeah. and to actually just experience what it's like to ride on this, this classical train. They actually recommend that you arrive 30 minutes beforehand to kind of like watch the process, which is really cool. And they also have a little museum off to the side, which I think we'll visit when we get back from yeah. the trip but yeah a crowd has started to gather on the platform and we're all excited to ride this train la trochita here yeah. we go okay so we have a few moments before we have to board so this is a good time to talk about the price to ride the old patagonian express so we paid 32 us dollars per person it's going to be a one hour journey going there then i believe we get about 45 minutes at the next stop to visit a museum, enjoy the scenery, and then it's another one hour journey coming back. And you need to arrive here 30 minutes before departure, 9.30 a.m. Hello, puppers. This is my new friend. Don't run away, friend. It's right there. He's a friendly one. Yeah, so that's how much it costs. The train station is just three blocks north from the bus terminal. It's very easy to get here on foot if you're staying in the center of town. There's also some people who are doing tours, I guess, coming from some neighboring cities, maybe even Bariloche. Um, so they arrived by coach. But yeah, it's gonna be cool. And now to the platform, everyone's gathered over there. Must be time. Maybe because we were the first ones to meet her. Yes, we're gonna be your friends today, aren't we? Yes, we are, puppers. Do you want to be a YouTube star, puppers? No? No, no, he prefers to live a quiet life here in Eskel. That's okay, we understand that, puppers. <laughs> well, you know what's so cool? You know the place where people are sitting? Yeah. Actually, firewood has been kept in there, lifted up oh. inside this firewood. Very nice. Yeah. All aboard. All aboard. It looks like it's packed. <laughs> awesome. I mean, this is the thing to do if you come here, right? Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. To give you a bit more information, in Spanish, this steam train is known as La Trochita. This translates to Little Gauge, and it's a nickname that refers to the train's super narrow gauge of only 75 centimeters. This railway line was originally planned as part of a larger network that would connect all of Patagonia. However, the project was never completed due to government changes and then the start of the First World War, which also affected the Argentine economy. Today, the old Patagonian Express operates on alternating locomotives. One is a Baldwin from the US and the other a Henschel from Germany. The wooden wagons came from Belgium and the heaters, well, those were later installed in Argentina to make the journeys across Patagonia in winter a little bit more bearable.
our stop. It's Here called it Nahuel Pan. Yeah. We got about 45 minutes. There's food, empanadas, tortas fritas, choripan. Yeah, so we're gonna have basically have yeah. early, early lunch right here. Also an artisanal fair. So we are currently gathering our little snacks. For lunch, I've picked up a fried cake, torta frita, two alfajores, salmon's in line buying choripan, sausage in a bun, and then we've got ourselves a lunch. This is gonna be tasty. Lunch time guys and we got fresh off of the asado the grill. Fresh Chori off the grill, churi pan. pan. Drowned in chimichurri. Well worth the wait in my opinion. So it's a chorizo uh, sausage in a in a in, in a, a bun. bun. In a bun. That's the best mm -hmm. way of describing it. We also got over here if you look down here, this is like a frita something. You Torta said? frita. Torta it's a fried frita. cake. I'm not sure if there's anything inside or not. And two special kinds of alfajores. This one is dulce, dulce de leche. leche. Okay, it has and with rum. Raisins with raisins rum. Raisins and rum. And this is a very special one because it is, uh, it's basically Welsh style. It's the, the, the black. Welsh cake we've been having yeah. in all these Welsh towns. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Isn't that amazing? It's cooked to perfection. That I got to watch it being prepared the whole time. Mm -hmm. The grill master was just, man, he has, a, he has a lot of these on the grill. <laughs> There's a lot of people waiting in line. Um, anyone lucky enough to get one of these before our train leaves is going to have a delicious lunch. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mm. So good. So good. Our little friend here realized we're eating choripan and he's like, oh yeah, I'm down for that. I like Are you pan. down for that? I like choripan. Sam's not really down for that. He's like, I want to eat mine. I'm hungry. Can't share. Right. Don't worry, Pupples. I'll share with you. Mm -mm. I feel like mm, we tasty. Probably, we should probably film some of the train, no? Next stop, torta frita. I'm going to break it in half because we don't know if there's a filling. Oh, no. It's just fried dough. Oh. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Is it okay? Not amazing. It kind of tastes like a donut, but okay. with no sugar and no filling. Like a savory donut, kind I of. I can see why people are buying this with coffee. Okay. It's like you need something to dip it in. Yeah, yeah. So it's a cheap little snack, but not amazing. Filling? Not as good as the joy pan, obviously. Mm -hmm. mm. I've already taken a bite of this delicious alpha whore. Mm -hmm. This is the special edition one with raisins and rum. It still has the dulce de leche in the middle and it has a chocolate coating. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And it's a winter edition. Mm. It would be perfect yeah. this winter. Rum, rum to keep you warm during those cold winter yeah. months. It makes sense. Oh, it's so good. The cookie is so... Like sometimes the, the worst part of the alpha whore is the cookie, but the cookie is delicious. There's a lot of good stuff going on. Marvelous. You know what, as good as these are, I'm just absolutely craving another chori pan. I think there's a huge oh. line. So I don't see myself being able to get get another one. Even Cook. the dog came out to have some. The and dog, the yeah. I was like, what? What are you doing here? Go That's to funny. the back. It's funny. That like, is the, 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 it's the grill master's dog. So he mm -hmm. actually, uh, he had to come get some water quickly. And he saw his dog was trying to bump some, some from us. And he shoot it away. So good though. Everything's been wow, delicious. It's been a really fun stop. There's also a museum we should probably visit before we get back on the train. Yeah. We luckily did have enough time to visit the Museum of Patagonian Culture. It's a small museum with two rooms, but inside you can find lots of ceramics, musical instruments, and textiles. Plus, if you speak Spanish, you can also get additional information from the museum guide. Just maybe don't leave it till the last minute like we did. The train is just about ready. They're putting the locomotive up front because the carriages don't change position. That means if you travel on the right-hand side of the train, you're going back on the right-hand side of the train. So they told us to be good about sharing the windows so everyone can enjoy the views. Time to head back. And Audrey's gonna give us a tour here while I bump my head. Someone 
story of Sam's life, knocking his head. He's too tall for the world. <laughs> this is not our carriage. No. This one is fancier. It has leather seats. Yes. We've been traveling like on hard wooden benches. Yeah. I didn't even know they had different classes. Maybe they don't. Maybe you just get a nice seat. Oh my gosh, here. is that an old fashioned stove? Yeah, so each compartment has a Whoa. little stove. I'm not sure if it's on, is it? No. No, I don't it's think not so. on. It's not winter yet. But yeah, that's how they would have heated this train. Crazy. So, so cool. So incredible inside of these things. It's been a really fun journey, I have to say. Yeah, incredibly scenic. And we should probably show you, no, that one is still fancy. This way, this way it's not so fancy. Come on over. Watch your head. Okay. This is what we were traveling in. There you have it. Little benches. It's not bad for a one hour ride. And yeah, you've got your little heater here. Yeah. For the winter months. This is what I was sitting on for a while to get some of the yeah, better views. Yeah, out the window. We used to have these at yeah. my house in Argentina. Wow. This style of heater. Wow. <laughs> And check out, you can see the numbers on the seats. Those are the those are yeah. the seat numbers. So it's assigned seating. 17, Which is 16, cool. Otherwise, 15. people would be fighting to sit oh, on the right yeah, side of the yeah. train, which is the most scenic kind of leaving town. You mm -hmm. get views of the valley. Indeed. But honestly, I don't think you can really go wrong. With yeah. Right, left. Right, left. It's pretty cool. All aboard! All aboard the train, and this time we're at the very back, not yes. near the front. Anything else? Uh, no, that was just so much fun. I'm so happy to get a, a lunch. I was, wasn't planning on eating on this, uh, on this particular I was. Spot. Oh, this is us. <laughs> we passed our... Totally missed our compartment. Here we go. back Yay! that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it yeah what a journey i mean 
so scenic mm -hmm. and so fascinating to ride such a vintage train like that. And you know what? We had perfect weather for oh. the whole journey. Yeah. Now we're back and it's starting to look gray and overcast. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, it was perfect the whole time we were out there. We ate really well. Yeah, the sun peaked out and now it's behind the cool clouds. Cool experience. I asked for more information at the train station mm -hmm. because this used to be a route that ran for 402 kilometers. Right. And there's a few different points where you can still travel like little little sections like over to the next station. One place is El Maiten. Yeah. And the other one is Ingeniero Jacobasi. So they still run the trains there as well. Yes, less frequently. Like this okay. is the most popular spot out of Esquel. Yeah. Um, they said that during low season or actually like the whole year, it mm -hmm. departs on Saturdays at 10 in the morning. Yeah. But then when it's high tourist season, there's like more frequency. If you're on the fence about doing it, definitely do, do it. Do it. It's so much do fun. It. Old Patagonian Express. Yeah, and the cool thing is you, you finish by like one or two. So yeah. you, it doesn't take up your whole day. It's a mm -hmm. half day activity. So uh, yeah, it was awesome. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you. Ciao.